guys are watching the video today i'm gonna be going over five mistakes i made in my first year of doing fitness so i just want to start off the video by saying thank you for all the support i've been getting you know we just hit 33 subscribers i think yeah 33 subscribers it means a lot i don't even think i'm making 20 honestly but you know we're on the road to 40 maybe even 50 who knows God willing, but I'm glad that you guys are enjoying the video. All the support means a lot to me, and I hope you know we can get some new videos out there as soon as possible. Right, so number one, I didn't have a goal. Like, what I mean by goal was I don't I didn't have a main goal when I first started, um, like fitness. I didn't know what I want. Like. My goal was, oh, you know what? Let's put some muscle on. I didn't know what exactly I wanted. I could say I wanted muscle, but I'm losing weight. Or I wanted to gain weight. You know what I'm trying to say? When I started fitness, I was like 120 pounds. And I didn't know how much I wanted to weigh. I remember. I was looking on the scale and I would just see my weight go up and I would think I'll be happy. But realistically, um I was I wouldn't see any muscle change. As a matter of fact, I'll see fat. And me not having a goal, I was confused on what I wanted to do. Like I didn't know if I wanted to, you know, bulk up cleanly. I didn't know what bulking was yet. Or I didn't know what clean diets were, you know what I'm trying to say? So I was just confused. I just didn't know what I wanted. Which made me have a mistake of like doing whatever I felt like. I was I didn't even know what eating healthy was. I started to just eat food and start gaining muscle, but it just didn't work out for me. So that's the first thing that I didn't have a goal and I'm gonna give you guys a tip when you guys want to start fitness or anything you want to set a goal for yourself you want to make sure you put that goal because once you reach that goal now you have to start adding more to it let's say it's a small goal let's say um let's say you start working out and you want to put on 10 pounds of muscle, okay? You put that small goal, you made it, okay? You see, you put 10 pounds, now add more to it. See if you can make it 15, 20, you know what I'm trying to say? Put a, a goal, a long-term, right? You can have short-term goals, but you want a long-term goal that's gonna make you like strive, be inspired to do what you wanna do. So that was my one mistake. The third mistake I made, was I cared too much about impressing people. I cared too much about what others thought about me. And this really affect me. It like slowed down my process. And what I mean by that was, you know, somebody will make a comment about me, for example, like I started lifting and somebody will say something about me. And they will just say, like I'm gonna say a story, like I remember once I bought a protein powder and I was talking to my friend and some kid came and he goes on and he says to me, I don't know why you bought protein powder, you waste your money on it. You're not gonna gain any muscle. And that hurt me. It was like, damn, did I really waste my money on this product? Did I waste my money on buying protein powder? And it really affected me for like a minute. Like it made me not want to like, you know, it didn't, it, it like brought down my passion for working out. And I've had many people, I've had many people tell me, like they've admitted to me themselves that they thought I was going to give up on this uh, fitness journey. And, you know, it made me feel like, damn, there was really a lot of people out there who thought I was just doing this to like, Impress. I've had people call me cocky before. I've had people say that I'm like mad, um, childish 
but showing pictures of me online, like fitness pictures of me in the gym. I've had people even said that like I look dumb working out so many times. That there's no reason for me to be working out for so much and all this negative energy affected me. And I wanna tell you guys these mistakes because if you start anything, I want you to know that there's gonna be things that are gonna come into it. Like if you wanna try something new, it's gonna be positive and stuff, but you need to understand there's gonna be negative effects throughout the way. You're not gonna be 100% every day. And if somebody told me, oh Andy, you're getting smaller, or I look mad skinny, like I have thin building also, that would hit me. It made me feel like, damn, it's not, is working not even working? Like, I'm not even putting any effort in. And it slowed me down. Like, literally, it slowed me down. Like, I didn't even want to get up to work out. I just sit around playing video games on my bed for like four hours, probably. And it, it made me, like, sad. It made me, like, I feel like, what, what, what am I really going to strive for? So, that's a tip for you guys. Remember, what other people say about you, they don't understand what's going on with you. Like, they don't know what's in your life. You only know the facts. Don't let what this person said, saying that, oh, you look dumb doing this, or, like, that's not right, or you're doing it wrong. Like, don't listen to them. You know what's right. You know what's wrong. The only thing I made was... I don't know why I always look down when I'm not explaining, but um, the mistake I made was I didn't work out my body properly. And what I mean by that is I would, like, when I first started for, like, a good three months, my workout routine will probably just be me working on arms and chest 24-7. Like, I'm talking about I didn't even give my body rest. I was afraid that if I took a rest day, that I was gonna get smaller. So I always had this thing in my head, it was like, I gotta work out every day. I'm talking about 24 seven, that I don't drop down the weight, nothing. And that really probably killed my gains. And what I mean by that is that I never gave my body time to recover. So I, over time when I started learning, I, I had to work on my shoulders. I had to work on my back, my legs. Cause my body was looking, what it didn't look like. Like, you know, if someone has a, like big arms, but they don't have no chest or they don't have a shoulder, like, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, it doesn't look right. So, me working out my arms and my chest, like, it made me learn my mistakes. And it also made me learn that recovery is important. I'm gonna say this to you guys now. If you're gonna start fitness, do not be afraid to take a recovery day. You know, I don't like it. Sometimes I feel like I'm lazy on a recovery day. But when you take recovery days, your body is starting to store up fuel. It's gonna start gaining, like when you, from the foods you eat, and it's also important to that's gonna be my next mistake, like when I explain after this. But, like, the foods you eat really affect your performance, that's all I'm gonna say. But, um, so yeah, I, w I wasn't having a proper workout routine, like, I just didn't understand what I was doing. And I remember I would feel sore 24 7 on my arms, and I couldn't even lift it up. And I thought, you know what, I'm growing, I'm growing. And then I looked in the mirror, and it got smaller. Like, literally, my arms got smaller. Like, I, don't, I was so skinny, I don't understand how it got even skinnier. But, who knows? It's just genetics, I guess. <laughs> no, let me stop. But, I didn't have a proper nutrition. I didn't have proper nutrition. Like, I wasn't eating the right way. And what I mean by that is... I wouldn't eat enough calories because I'm going to tell you now, calories is important. If you're trying to grow, you're trying to gain muscle, tell me right now, your calories are so important. And yes, you may say, all right, so, okay, I, okay, I want to give you an example. Let's say a person is 170 pounds, she works out like 
five times a week and he needs to eat 3,000 calories. Are you gonna say that right now? He needs to eat 3,000 calories to recover properly. That's how much he needs to maintain weight. Like he won't gain weight at all, he won't lose weight. Okay, 3,000. But it depends on what type of calories you eat. You can eat three meals that are 1,000 calories. But I'm telling you right now, there's not a lot of people who could do that. There's not a lot of people who have those types of genetics. They just eat three 1,000 calorie meals. Those are big meals. No, I mean, it's not that hard if you just go to McDonald's or any fast food and just order, I don't know, two items and now you got 1,000 calories. But you want to eat smaller portions of meal. I'm going to give you an example. Let's say you wake up in the morning, you eat breakfast. Let's say in breakfast, all right, let's say you need to hit 3,000. This could be any number, like, your number could be different. And if you guys want to find out what that number is, just search up a calorie intake calculator. You put, you just literally put in your, your, your agenda, your age, and how active you are. And it will tell you exactly how much calories you need to eat. If you're trying to lose weight, gain weight, maintain. And what I mean by gain weight, not gain fat, I gain muscle. But also you gotta be careful too, because you don't wanna eat too much calories. I'm gonna get into that right now, but what I mean, you wanna eat smaller meals. So let's say you need to hit 3,000. In the morning, you make, let's say, two eggs. Because not a lot of people can eat more than two. I'm gonna let you know now, eggs are not good for you. They're nutritious. So if somebody tells you eggs are bad, oh, well, I mean, if you eat 10 eggs every day, then you're just asking to die, but um, three eggs every day is not bad. It's good for your body. Eggs are really nutritious, but nutritional. So dumb, like I don't even know what I'm saying. But breakfast should be one of the biggest meals every day. For me, breakfast is the biggest, probably the biggest meal. <clears throat> Sometimes it's not, but. Okay, 150 calories. That's why this isn't bad food, right? You go to McDonald's, for example. I don't know. You get a, a, a Big Mac, right? A Big Mac is like 600 calories, which is a burger. You got a cup of oatmeal, which is not good for your body, and you got two eggs. Not to mention, if you want to put egg whites in there, like just get separate egg whites. You put a cup. That's another 100 calories. You have a 600 calorie, 640 calorie breakfast. But the amount of protein you have, though, it's crazy. You got over, probably, you got a cup. You probably almost got 40 grams of protein. Now, let's say in a Big Mac, you got like 20, and you eat 600 calories. You know what I'm trying to say? And the amount of fat, too. In the breakfast I just mentioned, you got probably, what, like 12 grams of fat only. If that's because of the egg, probably even ten. You don't even got any fat in there, and that's how healthy it is. The first mistake was I was having high expectations. I was thinking I could gain fifty pounds of muscle in just one month of working out, and I'm gonna be straight up with y'all. If you're starting to work out, don't have high expectations. It's good to have expectations. It's good to say, you know what? I'm going to work hard to gain it. And that's great. I still think the same thing. But you don't put on unrealistic expectations. If you're doing this naturally, you're not saying no steroids, nothing. You're doing this naturally with diet and stuff like how I'm doing this. I'm telling you, you're going to be disappointed when you see how your results are compared to your expectations. I'm not saying you have bad results, you might have great results. I'm telling you right now. But don't expect change like that. It takes hard work and dedication. You need to put in the work. You don't just want to like, you can't magically appear. Remember, for you to work for the body you want, you need to work hard. Because your body's not used to it. So, the mistake I did was, when I first started working out, I started seeing a little bit of muscle. Uh, yeah, I was getting muscle. So I was like, you know what? What if I eat a lot of food? What if I just eat as much, maybe I'll gain weight and there'll be muscle, right? 
I, w I was rushing. I didn't want to take the long route, right? Building up that muscle, muscle tissue, because I'm telling you, fat and muscle are two complete different things. Like, I'll show up for sure up right now. But, as I was saying, fat could be stored way more than muscle, and muscle's hard. Like, it's really hard to build natural muscle tissues. But it, when you work hard for it, I'm telling you, you'll be proud. The amount of muscle you build, because that muscle will stay in your body. Because you built that naturally. You didn't use no steroids, where you add water into your muscle, and once you stop, it shrinks down. I'm telling you, that's what happens. But when you build natural muscle, it stays with you. Even once you get older, you're still going to have that muscle there. Obviously, you're not going to have everything, but you will still have muscle tissue there that you built for hard work. So the mistake I did was, I would eat a bunch of foods, work out the same muscle every day, and I didn't see no results. I was disappointed. I was like, damn, I'm seeing all these muscular guys on the screen, teenagers making crazy body transformations. And I was saying to myself, why am I not like them? What, what am I doing wrong that's not what they're doing? And, you know, I don't suspect everybody works hard. But then I really started to know the truth. These people, most of these guys do not do it naturally. They might have great genetics. You know, if you have great genetics, you can build muscle crazy. Like, your body could be crazy. But... I was starting to understand the truth. I was starting to understand, all right, maybe these guys got there because they did something I wasn't doing. So I was trying to figure out what do I have to do. Their diet was on point, by the way. They weren't eating that food. Two, they were working hard in the gym every day. I'm talking about like they worked out every single muscle, everything. I wasn't doing that. So then I was like, right, I'm gonna have to change. I'm starting to eat good food. I was seeing a little bit of progress. Because when you're natural, when you're natural, your first year is gonna be your best year. I'm not talking about like potential-wise, but you're gonna build the most muscle in your first year naturally. Then second year will be like 75% of that. Then third year like 50. It's gonna be going on. When you're natural. If you have great genetics, you could go even more. You start building more. But I didn't see change. So then I have to teach myself. You're going to have to work hard for what you want. And I'll come by quick. And that's a mistake. It, it low key messed up my mind. Because then I was starting to get sad. It was like, damn, am I even building muscle? Like, why am I wasting my time? But then I started to understand. The amount of work you put in is the results you're gonna get. You know? So, I, once I started putting that in my mind, my results were getting better and better. I started to understand. I, you're not gonna really see your body change. But other people would. So once I started caring about what I, how I look, like if I would like gain any little bit of muscle, other people, like my family, would be like, oh, Andy, you're getting bigger. You're getting bigger. That's how I know I was making progress. And also, you shouldn't care about what the scale says your weight was. If you stay it, for example, if you're skinny and you gain 10 pounds, for example, is most likely not 10 pounds of muscle. It's most likely, I'm going to be realistic with you. Probably seven pounds of fat and probably three pounds of muscle, realistically. Like, it's not even a joke. That's that's what I mean, that the yeah, expectation shouldn't be crazy. But you should also have a goal. So don't bring yourself down and think, damn, like, these guys on the screen are, like, mad big. Like, how can I get there? You'll get there eventually. You got to put in hard work. And I'm telling you, there's not a lot of people in this world that want to put in that work. But I'm telling you, this is character building. 
when you're starting, you will see yourself changing completely. People will leave your life. People are going to see you in a different way. You're going to see yourself changing. And you're going to like how you're changing. I'm telling you what. I would never recommend fitness if, if I thought it was going to waste your time. I'm not here to waste your time. I'm here to tell you the truth on what I went through. And that's what I'm going to be explaining in a lot of these videos. What I went through. My tips. And everything so I can help you out. Cause that's my main goal on this app help people motivate set an example you know but those are my five mistakes i made if you guys would like any type of video recommendation i already got like two from my last video i'll be coming out with those pretty soon i promise <laughs> but i hope you guys enjoyed if you like the video please leave a like please comment anything like any type of idea you guys want me to do or anything and please subscribe anything will help thank you for watching to the end